Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Geek Blend. I'm Jeff, and today we're going to be doing something different. I've actually wanted to do this for quite a while, and have not got around to recording when this video drops because I've wanted to react to it like the same day it comes out. This is actually the day after it comes out, but I haven't watched it yet. I was going to watch it with you guys. Um, this is a video from a channel called Nukes Top Five. He has 2.46 million subscribers. He releases top five ghost videos every week. It's either Sunday or Monday when he puts them out. Um, he's been doing this for a long time. He gets a lot of stuff sent to him. And there are a lot of other channels on YouTube that put together uh, ghost clips. There are some that are good and some that are just terrible that put videos out that you know are instantly fake. And you're like, why are you even including this? But Nuke does a really good job putting out quality stuff and uh, puts out really good ghost videos to the point where I've seen even people who aren't believers in the paranormal question their beliefs after watching some things he's put on his videos. I love watching his videos every week. When the notification hits, I'm like, let's do this. I'm ready for Nukes Top 5. But this week, I waited because I want to do a reaction for you guys. And if it's something you guys like, let me know in the comments and I'll continue to do these. Uh, usually, the videos are a little long. So I'm going to make this intro short. Uh, this video is 20 minutes long. The video is titled, Five Scary Ghost Videos That Will Mess You Up, Bro. I love the title of some of his videos, but go subscribe to Nukes Top 5 if you like this video. Uh, go give him a like, a thumbs up on the video. He deserves the credit. Uh, I'm just doing a reaction because I love what he does, and I want more people who don't know about his channel, who do like paranormal stuff, to check it out because he puts great videos together. He's already got 26,000 likes on the video, 459,000 views as of 4.53 a.m. on Tuesday morning. So he's got quite a bit, but we're going to go ahead full screen this bitch. And we're going to watch it. So here we go. Nukes top five. Three, two, one. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The West Virginia Penitentiary. The infamous West Virginia Penitentiary is one of the oldest prisons in the United States. I want to go there. The sprawling fortress-like prison operated from 1876 to 1995. It housed some of the world's most dangerous inmates. In fact, after numerous horrifying attacks and homicides in the penitentiary, the U.S. Department of Justice named the prison one of the 10 most violent correctional facilities in the U.S. Wow. Almost 1,000 men lost their lives in the West Virginia penitentiary either by sickness, execution, or the frequent brutal attacks by fellow inmates. The Foreman brothers, Josh, Rocky, and Sean from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare traveled to the small town of Moundsville to investigate the allegedly haunted West Virginia Penitentiary. Right now we're here at West Virginia State Penitentiary. We're gonna get started in the cell block area. This area here is where they housed most of the violent inmates. In 1986, a brutal attack by a fellow inmate ended the life of prisoner Red Snyder. Many claim to have seen Red's ghost still walking the prison halls. Red, my name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. They were talking about you earlier today that one of your friends brutally murdered you right here in this cell. Can you see us? Let us know if you're in here. And then whenever I stopped, it stopped. But then I asked. I asked. Josh and Rocky Foreman head to the second floor cell block to do a spirit box session. They capture some very bizarre and unsettling responses. Is this your cell? I'm no longer in prison. Where are you at if you're not in prison? Are you free? Can you still hear us? Yes? Dang. Can you say Josh? Oh, God, absolutely could. Then say it. Say Josh. Uh, I don't think. 
I heard you. The Foreman brothers reunite on the prison's main floor and are walking down the dark hallway when suddenly they see this. Josh Rock here in that phone zone again down there. Oh, did you see that? I caught that. Oh, Shadow. What the hell is that? Shadow. Yep. Somebody oh. standing down there. A dark shadowy figure seems to just appear out of thin air at the end of the hallway, then walks out of sight. This handle, look how high that handle is. Holy shit. my heart is racing. Go stand by it, huh? This handle. The Paranormal Nightmare team tries to debunk this bizarre shadow yeah. figure. Good idea. But they come up with no answers. So is this the ghost of one of the inmates who lost his life in the prison? You decide. Over on their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series, you can check out more of the Foreman Brothers and their paranormal investigations. Good channel, definitely record. Hider in the house. Chilean TikTok user Franco Viegas claims that lately odd supernatural activity has been occurring in his home. A lot of home. TikTok stuff lately. He says that he's seen unexplained shadows, experienced sleep paralysis, and most bizarre of all, he says that some unseen thing actually bit him on the back. Franco decides to set up a small CCTV camera to record himself as he sleeps. Dog's awake. A blurry white figure seems to appear on camera. Oddly enough, whatever it is doesn't seem to upset or excite Franco's dog. It continues to sleep through the entire incident. Three days later, Franco's bedsheet is pulled off by something. But it doesn't end there. Two days later on April 30th, Franco Viegas starts to hear knocking on his bedroom door. Bueno, son... Son las... Las una de la mañana, casi. Y nada, para ser concreto, como ven, no tengo... Audio ni... Ni música en el video porque... Nada, me golpearon la puerta muy fuerte, muy fuerte. Y estoy solo. Despertamos todos. He's got a lot of cats. Están todos muy fijos en la puerta, así que voy a mover la cámara apuntando hacia allá. Veremos mañana en la mañana o en la madrugada si capto algo. So Franco changes the angle of the CCTV camera to point towards his door. Five days go by without incident, but on May 5th, as Franco sleeps, his security camera catches something truly chilling. records what Come seems to be the pale face on. of a girl peeking into Franco's room as he sleeps. In desperation, Franco asks his TikTok viewers for advice on what to do about the strange spirit that seems to haunt his home. One viewer recommends an odd sort of seance, saying that Franco should try talking to the spirit while holding a candle in front of a mirror. This is going to go well. Amiga, por favor, te pido que me dejes solo. Te lo pido, por favor. Ah, con chido, man. Now, I'm certainly not saying that this footage is real, but what makes it more compelling is that Franco clearly shows that the bathtub is empty and that he's oh, yeah, alone yeah. only seconds before the girl appears. That's true. That's true. One night, Franco is filming one of his cats playing, and what happens next is truly bizarre. Hay ruido en el primer piso. Oh shit, come on. Come on, man. Oh, 
There's a cat. Oh, come on, man. I'm going to. Hey, hey! Uh, no way. Wait. I'm going to do my. So. Is Franco Viega's house You're truly haunted? Goosebumps on that or motherfucker. Is it all <laughs> just an elaborate Sorry for swearing. You decide. You can follow Franco's Come continuing on. story over on his TikTok page. It could be Out edited, it could be, but. TikTok user BetsonAngel69 is a 44 year old mother of three that mainly uses her TikTok account to keep up with her older children. One day, when looking across the street from where she lives, she notices a mysterious figure pacing back and forth. She took a video of it and shared it with one of her friends. What in the world? Camera barely even picks it up. The camera barely even picks it up. It's just a black shape. It literally looks like a, just a shape that's fading in and out. The next day, the figure is back again. It paces back and forth for hours on end. I wonder if it's that uh, thinks residual. that whoever it is might have a mental illness, which would explain the erratic behavior. Yeah. She records again, and this time posts the video on TikTok to see what other people think. Okay, there's a better quality image of it. Talia, get over here. <sighs> Can't even zoom in any closer. You see it? It just walks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I wonder if In the comments residual. on her TikTok, Betson Angel 69 gets many questions about the history of the location. Yeah. And some viewers even wonder if the event might be of a paranormal nature. Bet follows up with another video. Okay, so everybody that's been kind of curious, this is the church that's directly across the street from my house that I was explaining. Um, this is the area. It's still where over there walking back and forth. It's right there. Figure. It just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Now, whoever or whatever the figure might be, it seems that Bet's dog is a little freaked out as well. Oh, shit. sees the figure again, she decides to go take a look, but she's too scared to go alone. She brings her husband along, and they go to investigate. My husband has agreed to walk me over and see what we can find. I can't believe you talked me into this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably residual. Here's the spot. I don't see anything. No, I don't either. I mean, it's pretty full. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Anybody there? <sighs> I'm so nervous. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Do you need help? I'm telling you, it's probably with it. <sighs> this is the moment Come on. we turned and ran. I know it might not seem that scary on camera, but when we were up that close, it was so loud and it was just this Dang almost residual, guttural man. scream. Um, this is uh, the moment we heard it and ran. You can kind of see us back there. And Let's we see. took off. If he runs past her, if he's like. My poor husband was like, F this. He kept looking back. Um, I like how they recorded their reaction. I think at one point he was like, TikTok, Just in case I'm out of here, them. this is done. Now, did Betson Angel 69 capture a ghost stuck in a recurring loop? 
Could it just be some deranged person and nothing paranormal at all? Or is it all just a hoax? Let me know what you think. It's interesting. Check out Bets and Angels TikTok page to follow her the continuing story. The videos are story. really, really compelling. The Watcher. Ghost Hunting Channel Polish Paranormal TV explores an allegedly haunted building deep in the woods near Never the city guys, of Katowice, so Poland. A dark history Poland. surrounds the location. Only a month prior to the investigation, the burned body of a homeless man was discovered by an unsuspecting hiker. Since then, there have been rumors of weird and unexplained things happening to all who enter the abandoned house. Before Polish yeah. Paranormal TV start their investigation, they check the grounds to make sure that they are completely alone. Good idea. Zrobiliśmy już rekonesans. Jesteśmy totalnie sami. Nie ma tutaj nikogo oprócz nas. No, wchodzimy do środka. Dobra. Jak widzicie, budynek jednak jest w trochę w średnim stanie. Tylko już w środku. Once inside the house, they immediately begin to hear strange noises. Jeżeli jesteś tutaj z nami, daj nam znać. Będziemy wiedzieć, że jesteś i odejdziemy. Każdy odejdzie w swoją stronę. Już tu więcej nie wrócimy. Now, the guys laugh it off at first, but things get a bit more serious when they get a direct response to a question. Kolejną szansę, możesz się z nami skomunikować. Da jakiś znak, że tutaj jesteś. Kto tu jest? Come on, Sabu. Yeah, guys here. They keep hearing odd sounds around the house, but they can't find the source. But their YouTube viewers were shocked when they noticed this. Did you see it? The Polish no. ghost hunters didn't notice at the time or even point it out in their video. But someone seems to be walking around the corner just as they check the staircase. There is a foot. Toto yes. Yep. There is their leg. Hello. But so somebody's actually walking out there, you're gonna hear them stepping on all that crap that's out there. All that crap, it's just debris everywhere, it looks like. And listen to when they stepped, it sounds like they stepped on glass and all that. Now, kind of stuff. it certainly could just be a homeless man in the building that came to check out the could noise. Be. But again, I remind you, before the investigation, the Polish Paranormal TV crew inspected the entire building to make sure they were alone. So, what do you think? Is it a paranormal entity hmm. or just a wandering homeless man? Let me like know said, the thing is, down like, in the comments. You would have heard somebody walking around. They would have a noticed quiet like, voice. stepping. 
Popular YouTuber and paranormal explorer Ricky Velasquez frequently does live streams while exploring allegedly haunted locations in Mexico. In this live stream, Ricky and a female friend are exploring a haunted house in Ciudad Guzman, Mexico. They begin to hear what sounds like the voice of a little girl. They call out to the child, and that's when things get truly bizarre. Yeah. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Niña. Niña. aquí, aquí, aquí. ¿Escuchaste? ¿Escuchaste? No, no, que me... Hola. ¿Te podemos ver? Niña. ¿Quieres que te veamos? Manifiéstate. Niña. Yo no voy a correr. Niña. Chiquita. Déjanos verte. No te vamos a lastimar. Chiquita. Chiquita, asómate. Yo no la veo. Yo no la veo. Sí. Right there. ¿Y si me asomo nada más yo? Ay, no, 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 ¿Ya la viste? ¿Ya la viste? Sí, sí, ya se la vieron. ¿Ya la viste? ¿La vieron? So, did Ricky Velasquez capture the ghost of a little girl on his live stream? What do you think? Oh, live streams. Those are a lot harder. You can see the full investigation over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. To submit or suggest videos, email me at nukes.5 at gmail.com. Make sure you guys go check and out nukes.5. I'm going to leave many a random things. Follow link me on Twitter at nukes.5. In the description five. below. Please definitely go check out his channel. It's awesome. I highly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. That was this week's episode of Nukes Top 5. Five scary ghost videos that will mess you up, bro. Those were good. Uh, the one, the TikTok one with the like, actual, like, woman, like, peeking your head around the corner and stuff. Those are I'm always a little skeptical about. But the only thing is the fact that he showed the bathroom like in the bathtub before he literally turned around and turned back around and saw the woman. So it's hard to say. But those are probably a lot easier to fake. Maybe the TikTok stuff because you're basically cutting you know, your videos together. So I'm sure it's easy to cut stuff together. But I don't like I said, I don't know. What do you guys think about this stuff? Did you think any of what you saw looked suspicious? Do you think some of you, what you saw looked really real or something that you, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Also, let me know if you guys like me doing the reaction to this. I kind of, I got a light source up here. I turn a lot of the lights off, kind of get to give a spooky vibe to it. Might even set up a couple of candles or something instead when I do these from now on, like maybe a different vibe, but I'm a big horror fan. Uh, I do like paranormal stuff. I've been to Waverly Hills Sanitarium in Kentucky to do an overnight tour with a group. And we saw some pretty insanely crazy stuff. Uh, place was really active, but I do believe in this stuff. Uh, of course, being a believer, I'm also one of the people that will see something and is not going to instantly believe it's real. I'm going to look at it from all angles and you know make my own decision. It's always it's always your own decision. Make your own. If you don't believe in this stuff, that's fine. Don't believe it. But if you do, and you like watching this kind of stuff, Nukes Top Five's channel is one of the best online. Actually, it's probably the best on YouTube. Probably the best. So definitely check it out. Also. Links in the description for our social media, our Patreon as well, if you want to check that out. And yeah, let me know if you guys like these reactions to these videos, and I'll keep doing them every week. Like I said, please go check out Nuke's Top 5 videos. I will leave the link for his channel in the description below. If you like this video of me reacting to it, go over to his and watch it there, and then leave a like on his video as well. He gets a lot of attention there. The, the, his channel is huge and continues to grow. I think when I first started following him, he was under 500,000 subscribers. So it's been quite a while since I've been following him. I, there's still a lot of his stuff I haven't watched. Uh, some stuff I've seen, some, of, some stuff I haven't. So I might go back and do some older videos of his 
and maybe react to those. But let me know what you guys think, and if you want me to continue doing these reactions, so I appreciate that. Uh, leave a like on our video, it really does help us out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on everything we do here on the channel, including reactions like these. The good thing about the channel being called the Geek Blend is when I say, if you geek about it, we'll speak about it. There are a lot of people that geek out over different things and paranormal stuff. I have multiple friends in my life that we geek out about this kind of stuff. So that's why the beauty of the Geek Blend is it can be anything we geek out about. So if you guys enjoy the paranormal stuff and you want to geek out together with me, check out our Discord. Uh, links for that is in the description. I'm going to make a paranormal tab for that over there so we can talk about that. Maybe you guys can post stuff you've experienced. And uh, if you find other videos like this you want me to check out, leave it there. But definitely go check out our Discord. Our community is growing and growing over there, and it's getting pretty awesome. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And like I said, this is the Geek Plan. I'm Jeff. And if you geek about it, we'll speak about it. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.